Good morning. So I am now here inside the office of, of course, none other than Dr. Mina Ramirez, the president of the Asian Social Institute. And I would like to ask her personally about her views regarding the Asian Social Institute and the very popular applied cosmic anthropology. Dr. Mina, good morning. Mm, good morning. Uh, well, ASI is a what we call a social science graduate school but with a difference in that it is more than just an institute. It is a movement of thought based on uh, ideas um, grounded in reality. Uh, it is a, uh, it's a movement for participatory action research and a movement for advocacy and uh, advocacy organization and and um, education so um, this is how as it started so if you will notice all our courses are geared towards uh, the transformation of uh, of individuals uh, mark uh, individuals communities institutions and um, and organizations now for me the crowning glory of ASI is the doctoral program which is called applied cosmic anthropology we make a stress and apply because uh, your view about uh, if you look at reality from the lens of applied cosmic of cosmic anthropology um, it will not mean anything as long as you don't apply it in your daily life. And to apply it means that you see that, that there is something transcendent in, in, every, uh, in everything we do. We can only um, have meaning when you relate this to the transcendent. Also, uh, we see the interconnectedness of all. I also think that you cannot be uh, truly relative if there is no, if you don't believe in something absolute. Because how can you be relate to something relative also? That means that there is no gauge of what should be right and what should be wrong. So, um, Asian Social Institute is uh, uh, has been uh, having a view that goes very much along the line of uh, Francis of Assisi. We started in uh, no uh, Francis of Pope Francis um, because Pope Francis wrote the first encyclical. I think that was in 1915. Uh, Laudato Si. And when you read Laudato Si, many of our students in the doctoral program said, A Laudato Si is ASI. It's ASI's Applied Cosmic Anthropology. And uh, I, I think that somehow uh, this is true, that uh, even before Laudato Si, we were already thinking from uh, the the lens of uh, the, the the cosmic lens, the cosmic lens, uh, cosmic lens uh, that was first an insight of the of Tela de Chardin, the Jesuit Tela de Chardin, that the world is evolving towards more and more spiritual, and that. Matter is never just matter, but there is a lot of uh, space in matter. And that life is energy. Life is energy, and that therefore that energy is, uh, is everywhere. Wherever we go, we project an energy, either positive or negative. And uh, that's why words can be so important. Because to think positively it, uh, has a power to transform, to transform uh, people. 
it uh, it is that energy that gives life that that gives power to to what you do and also uh, that energy is uh, uh, means when it is directed to the creatures to all creatures that is what you really call love so divine love divine light divine power whenever you uh, view from a cosmic lens where you believe in transcendence in transcendence that is also imminent the transcendent living and dwelling in our bodies and that's why we have to uh, see unity body mind and spirit which is so much emphasized in the oriental philosophy body mind and spirit because without that unity we are going also to divide, um, to create divisions in our life. And, uh, of course, uh, when, you, when, you, uh, when you build bridges, it means also that everybody body shares talent, treasure, and um, time, talent, and treasure. And it is very, it's very uh, inspiring to know that in every uh, significant festival where families unite and where religion uh, is invoked, it is always, there is always what you call a, a, uh, a celebration of the significance of the vital uh, life forms, uh, vital life elements like soil, earth, light, and fire. And so, if you, in the Christian way, we use, uh, we have a meaning for these elements that uh, relate us to the transcendent and at the same time translates the transcendent into human life. It, gets incarnated like uh, in, on Easter we speak of rice is light uh, uh, and water water is also another vital element so and it is that time that we celebrate that we share that we connect with others so that's it's, the basic principle of Aka uh, the basic principle of Aka is a universal principle for social order wow. because when you share there is more productivity there people have a, a way to uh, ask for the goods that's why the economy is good during Christmas time the same when there is the lunar new year they also share parents share with the children the children share with the parents and this is this sharing brings about uh, the bridging of uh, uh, gaps. Yes. Why gaps. is phenomenology? And then, and then the the third is uh, mm. uh, the water festival of the Buddhists. That's the same. Same principle. They 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 uh, they actually uh, throw fragrant water. To all, but it's also, uh, and that means purification, and it's also during the time that they give alms to the poor. The same with the Muslim. I I always don't know how to pronounce that either. Zakat. That that either uh, that time that alms giving. Yes, they they also have a day. It's also a holiday for us. Idul Fitir. Yes, that idul, and at the time they also share with the poor. So you can see that in all of these religions, there's something common. Right. Love is common. A positive energy is common. Uh, the meaning of light, of the vital water and everything, water to purify us, to cleanse us. Uh, the same thing with uh, light. Light. Uh, we radiate light. We get uh, we need sun, the sunlight, in fact, to be able to be healthy. And, uh, 
So, you are asking something about phenomenology. What is phenomenology to ACA or to the Asian Social Institute uh, to in Asian general? the Asian Social Institute, actually phenomenology is uh, a method in research that creates, that is almost, if you, if you apply it well with the phenomenological presuppositions like um, uh, a person is a self-project. A person is a self-project. A person is always in a state of becoming. Uh, if you, uh, you, both of, I think, Aka and Feminology are a science of being and becoming. Gabriel Marcel. Yeah. It's a, a being and becoming. Mm -hmm. uh, Heidegger also Heidegger, says there. Of course. Also, yeah, so we call it existential phenomenology, the the meaning of existence and coexistence. You cannot exist without coexisting with another one. So uh, it looks like somehow we were given the light to synthesize um, the path we would like to. To take in order to reach our full destiny, to have a grasp of truth, which can only be at the end of time, only when we are we we then have a full grasp and understanding of and and union with all truth, beauty, and goodness. Uh, and that's why all of us are in a journey. So, phenomenological is a methodology which is which embraced is, by the ACA. Yes, embraced by ACA and the whole institute. Mm -hmm. The whole institute. So, you're leaving um, for Myanmar, Myanmar yes. for a two-week uh, visit? For a two-week visit because... One what do we expect um, for your visit in Myanmar? Um, no, actually, the... the, the uh, when we were invited by our pre-student to attend his ordination to to Bishop how Bishop Rick Bishop, Bishop Hood. Rick oh, yeah. <laughs> something <Right. laughs> you can call it like that wow. uh, and and a senior student who is not even a, a scholar here uh, is uh, saw the meaning of all this. Uh, Mr. Scholars who are spread out in different dioceses and are involved in an NGO called Karuna, which means Caritas. And uh, when the students heard that I was coming, they would like that I would visit all the dioceses where they are. That's why it became quite long. I, mean, I couldn't stay. I told them I couldn't stay because of the work here. I couldn't stay, but they really insisted. And they said, because we might ask you to talk to priests, we might ask you to talk to the bishops, you know. And maybe campaign as well for the programs. And, and, and because they would like to ask Come about over. The, 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 the programs. Because right. the bishops are always asking us, can you uh, take this as a scholar? And, we, wow. and then we work out full scholarship for them. Uh, so in a way, uh, I like that they are the ones who are, because it means that they appreciated what they learned. From this institution. From this institution, and that they're able to apply it. And some of them really get uh, very good uh, positions in international NGOs. How many PhDs do, do we have at the moment uh, who are enrolled in the program? Now? Yeah. It has the highest enrollment, 50. Wow. Wow! Yes. How many graduates have we had so far in the PhD program? I think it's about 120 or something well, since bad. 1995. Not bad. Not bad. And it, like in the Smaninas, there are already about 20. The La Salva Smaninas, there are already 20. <laughs> yes. And still they are pulling and pulling. And Hopefully, have, it will be part of the, and, and, the graduates and, and they the, are, the roster. They have a lot of insights about what to do in terms of advocacy. Yes. You know? So and is, uh, it's brings, a very positive experience. Yes, very positive. So that we are really thinking 
to have a real uh, like a uh, partnership oh with with de la salle, with, de la salle. And, and with our department salle maybe yes, yeah like that <laughs> well that can be uh, arranged maybe oh, with the yes. We have a student now uh -huh. who's uh, an administrator in De La Salle. Maybe that can be arranged. Mm -mm. And also a, a student who is in the IT very much. In right, IT. right. Mm -mm. <laughs> so you can make a lot of instructional materials. Uh, so today is January 24 and I am lucky to have finally um, met Dr. Mina by accident because uh, she's about to leave for Myanmar fixing all her... Um, luggages and stuff before she leaves for two weeks and uh, thank you very much Doc Mina for sharing your insight mm -mm. For, uh, as president of this very interesting um, institution a very humbling institution uh, if I must say because I learned so many things from this institution and I hope that more and more um, graduate students will realize the importance of um, the uh, uh, the program, the ACA program of the Asian Social Institute, which is so humbling, so eye-opening. It's, um, well, it's basically um, a degree with a heart. Yes. It's a degree with actually, ma which makes you realize. Uh, actually, it's education of the heart. Yes. So you think with a heart. Yes. Because without thinking with a heart, there will be no transformation. Whatever is happening now in Ta'al, I, I think there is some uh, cosmic uh, underpinnings to it. Yes, oh, right. And uh, I, I, I once realized that, well, as a student of Aka, I realized that, wow, this Ta'al uh, eruption could be something that is trying to wake up, you know, people from the Philippines. Yes. And uh, thank you for making us realize that, Doc Mina. And um, I wish you well. I hope you um, enjoy your trip. Be mm -hmm. safe. Mm -hmm. Be healthy always. <laughs> Keep on touching more lives <laughs> like what you did to us. Well, thank you also for being very much with I us. will and, try and, and, to promote as much as we could uh, the Asian Social Institute for all it's worth, for all the programs that it offers and we are from very, the bottom of my heart. Not, we are very reasonable when it comes to tuition fees. Oh my God, yes. This is mm. the cheapest PhD program ever that I know yes. with a quality. <laughs> with quality. Where professors are highly competent <laughs> and very, very um, professional in their dealings with the students oh. and no reporting. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Doc Mina. Thank you. Also. Have a good Friday oh. and I hope to see you very soon for we my defense. She is my advisor as well. <laughs> Doc Mina is my uh, dissertation advisor and I think I am in a very good hand. <laughs> She is taking care of me and um, all her, um, well, comments, the comments of the uh, panelists are well taken care of. And I hope I, I don't fail them in my defense. Because when you mentor, you're co-responsible. Yes. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Right. That's Doc Mina. Thank you very much for watching.